everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Khan and I'm a second year of Tomashi student. If you're here at this video, you probably have already seen station one and well, welcome back <laughs> to station two. Um, this one, I'm just gonna be showing you how I did it and hopefully everything clicks or is a refresher for you. All right, station two. Um, the station wasn't too bad. Um, I would say I was more nervous for station one, to be honest, but for station two, it was a little stressful because I had to physically move rooms. And so uh, my patient and I had to like run to another room, but same thing, you know, just clean up the frother, wash your hands and tell the grader that you did when they come in, because you know, that's the point. And uh, you just do the refraction. Um, I will say my attending was very, very picky and not all the attendings are gonna do this, but um, particularly for me, my attending was kind of, like the patient was right here and I was in front of the frother and my attendant was literally right here next to me and which is fine. Um, she wanted to make sure that I knew what I was doing and made sure that every step was correct. Make sure that you know how to do everything and make sure you know how to uh, maneuver around. Um, mine attending in particular asked me a lot of questions. Um, after almost every step, she would ask me a question. And even if it doesn't pertain to my patient, um, she asked me how I would do it if patient did this or a patient did that. So make sure you know how to do everything and make sure you know how the procedures work because um, you can't be asked all of that. So all of that is fair game, even though it's not on the rubric. But so one thing I actually want to add because I was very surprised this happened is when I finished writing my patient, um, the patient's left eye, he could not read the 2040 line and so that's not good because then you would have to move to monocular bichrome and do all the extra sets but uh it was weird because he couldn't read the 2040 line and i was like ah oh, no because that was weird you know and i changed the chart because in the moment i was just like you know what like let's try a different line maybe this one was a little too difficult i don't know but when i changed the chart he was reading 2025 after uh, after reading and so I kept with that and I saved myself from having to go back and uh, rat him again or having to go back and uh, do monocular bichrome and all that stuff. All right, hi Mrs. Lee, my name is Candid12345 and today I'm going to be shining this light into your eyes to get a rough estimate of your prescription. Um, can you see that letter E at the back of the Yes. All right, so I'm going to show you this light into your eye. There are times where I will be blocking parts of the E, but that's totally okay. Let me know if I block it completely. So first I'm going to go on the left eye, and I'm going to make, get rid of all the blue meridians. So I'm going to make sure I follow this left eye, and the left eye is blocked. So now I'm going to go on the other eye, and now I'm going to start writing. So I just took out my working distance and I'm going to change the chart to 2050 and I'm going to include one eye and can you go ahead and read the lowest line you can see for me? Uh, B O T B E T. Good, that is 2020. And then can you make sure to change the chart every single time. Um, can you read the lowest line you can see for me please? U-E-P-T-O-K. Okay. okay, that is 2020 as well. And then you do record your retinoscopy findings, so that is. So I'm gonna go ahead and include this eye, open back this eye up, and let me know once I add um, two extra quits of plus, what the lowest line you can see is. S-G-E-H-F-C. All right, so patient did lose letters, so I'm gonna give this back to her. And she did read 2020 at first, so I would not offer her any minus. So I'm gonna do the same thing to your other eye. And I gave her a half a diopter. What's the lowest line you can see? O C L H C A. Okay, and patient did lose letters, so I'm gonna to take it back. And now I'm going to move on to JCC. I'm going to use the 30 line. Okay, so let's see, this is at 75, so I'm going to start out with axis. Um, let me know what looks better, one right here or two? Two. Two right here, so two is over here, so we're going to chase the red. 
What looks better? One right here or two? They look the same. They look the same? Okay, mm -hmm. good. So now we're gonna go to power, which is parallel. Um, now we're gonna look at the power. What looks better? One right here or two? Two. Two, I mean, she does not want that, so we're gonna take it out. What looks better? One or two? Two. She does not want that either. So if I take out two um, clicks of so, we're, we're gonna go one quarter diopter into the negative. What looks better? One or two? Two. Two looks better? Mm -hmm. All right, so that means she doesn't like this meridian. So now, since we're gonna go back to zero, we're gonna start to fish for so. So we're gonna start at 180. What looks better? One or two? Two. Okay, now I'm gonna go to 135. One or two? Two. I'm gonna go to 90. One or two? Two. I'm gonna go to 45. She's been choosing that. One or two? Two. Two. And we did all the meridians, therefore she did not want any of it. So she does not get any so. And then, clue that eye. So we're gonna take that so out. Don't forget to take this out. <laughs> okay, so this is one. So we're gonna start with axis. So what looks better? One right here or two? Uh, can you do it again? One or two? They look the same. Okay, good. And then I'm gonna switch it to power. What looks better? One or two? One. One looks better? Mm -hmm. Take it out. She's not liking any of the sew I put in. <laughs> what looks better? One or two? Two. Two looks better. So then we're gonna go more minus. One or two? One. One looks better? Mm -hmm. Okay, so she is flip-flopping between the two powers, so you would always wanna give them the most. So instead of going back and forth, I'm just gonna stay at that. So now we are going to, after JCC, we're going to do monocular subjective sphere. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to change the chart to the 2029. 20, so I'm going to include the left eye, and that whole chart should be blurry to you. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, let me know when you can make out one or two letters, but nothing more as I'm changing the ones. Okay. A Z. Okay, where is the Z? On the right. Okay, good. And can you read the whole line for me? E B O S A Z. Good. And we're gonna record that. Twenty twenty, and that's gonna be negative sixty guess. Okay. And let's do the other eye. So we're gonna include this eye and open up this one. And I'm gonna change the line again. Okay, that whole line should be completely blurry to you, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing. Let me know when you can make out one or two letters, but nothing more. Um, L, P. Good. Can you read the whole line for me? L, P, C, H, S, A. Okay, that's gonna be 20, 20 minus one. And that is gonna be. Now open both eyes up and we're going to balance. Do four base down on the right eye, four base up on the top. And don't forget to add in two extra clicks up plus. And we're gonna change the chart to the block of 2040. All right, you should see two charts, right? One on the top and one on the bottom? Mm -hmm. All right, let me know which one looks sharper, clearer, or darker, or do they do they both look the same? The bottom one looks darker. Okay, so we're gonna add a plus. What about here? Uh, the bottom one's still darker. Okay, and what about here? Are they both the same? The top is clear. The top is clear? Mm -hmm. Okay, so she is flip-flopping again. <laughs> so if you were to choose between this option, or this option, which one would make it look more the same? This one. This one? Okay, mm -hmm. so we'll stay there. Good. And now we are going to do binocular subjectives. I'm gonna add, we already added two, so now I'm gonna add four more. Two, three, four. And we're gonna change to the 2020 line. That whole chart should be blurry to you, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me know when you can make up one or two letters, but nothing more. Mm -hmm. A and good. 
And can you read that whole line for me? A-N-F-D-S-K. Good, perfect. And now I'm gonna change it back to the 40 block and uh, show you our bonus line. So I know you can read 2020, but I wanna see if you can read the lowest line of this chart. O-H-P-N-T-Z. Good, and patient seeing 2015. And what happens when I give you one extra click of plus? I'm gonna change the block again. Can you read the lowest line you can see? O-U-L-V-A-D. Patient lost one letter, so I'm gonna give it back to her, and then we will offer her a click of minus. Can you read the lowest line you can see for me? F-B-Z-P-O-C. Okay, and she's, she did read 2015, but she was already able to do that, and her rate and her speed and her the confidence level that she had was kind of like the same. So we're just gonna take out the negative and give her back what she had already. So she is now reading 2015. And now we're going to record the final reading. In both eyes, she's reading 2015. So let's see how she is uh, monocularly. So go ahead and read the lowest line you can see for me right now. All right guys, that is the end of station two. Whew, we are halfway there. I hope you like the videos and don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that thumbs up. All right, I will see you for station three.